हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन विद्या विकास स्मार्ट गाइडेंस सेंटर दिस गाइडेंस सेंटर हेल्प्स यू हेल्प्स स्टूडेंट्स टू प्रिपेयर फॉर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशन लाइक डॉक्टर होमी भाभा यंग साइंटिस्ट एग्जामिनेशन नाउ आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ टू यू आई एम मिसेस मोहिनी कुलकर्णी आई एम योर केमिस्ट्री टीचर आई टीच केमिस्ट्री आई एम आई एम टीचिंग केमिस्ट्री फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम I taught students from 11th standard to MSc level. Now I got opportunity to teach you all, and it's my pleasure that I can teach you all. Thank you. I thank Vidya Vikas Smart Guidance Center also. Now we will turn to our Dr. Homi Baba Young Scientist examination information. This. Dr. Homi Bhabha Young Scientist Examination is very very prestigious examination. It is taken all over in Maharashtra. Students from all over Maharashtra, students from all over Maharashtra are selected through this examination. This examination is conducted by Brihan Mumbai Science Teachers Association. I welcome you for this. preparation of this for preparation of this examination now we will try to find to, now we will go now, now we will try to understand the pattern of the examination there are five stages of this examination stage number 1 is your written exam what kind of exam is this you have given school exam but it is not similar to school exam it is something different than school exam it is having multiple choice questions there are 100 multiple choice questions asked in paper you are supposed to solve these questions in 90 minutes see students you don't get even a minute to answer one question there are only 54 seconds to answer this question so you have to study thoroughly and very hard for this examination second stage of examination is practical examination in practical exam you are supposed to do 25 to 30 experiments in 30 minutes only you are given instructions and you are given apparatus you have to go there read the instructions do the things accordingly and find out the observation out of it okay only 1 minute or more than sli slightly more than 1 minute is given to you once you qualify for written test that is sorry when you are selected in written test you have to face the second stage examination which is practical examination you become qualify for practical examination when you are selected through practical examination you be, you qualify for third stage of examination the third stage of examination is project you have to do project on your own you are not supposed to take anybody's help you will find out the project you will do it yourself and you are study that project thoroughly once you qualify once you get selected in this project examination you become qualified for the further stage examination and that is your viva viva means oral examination you will be asked questions based on your project and you have to answer them when you are selected from this examination you are qualified for next stage of examination and that is general interview so students you have to pass all these five stages i what i mean to pass is not getting marks you must be selected in all these three five stages once you selected 
we, once you are selected at first stage, you go for second stage. When you get selected for second stage, you go for third stage. When you when you are selected for third stage, you go for fourth stage. And once you go for once you are selected for fourth stage, you go for fifth stage. And once you are selected in fifth stage, you get Young Scientist Award, which is very very prestigious award. The award is in the form of medal. It gives you certificate as well as cash prize. But beyond that, you get, you are recognized as young scientist and the scientists from BARC, that is Bhava Atomic Research Center, they guide you further and your career is made through this. So this examination, you take it seriously and you get through it. I wish you best for this. Now, we will turn our attention to our chemistry topics. Okay, I'll be teaching you chemistry. There are four topics in CBSE 9th standard book which belong to subject chemistry. What are they? The first topic is matter in our surrounding. The second topic is, is matter around us pure? Third topic is atoms and molecules. And fourth topic is structure of atoms. I will teach you all these four topics. Today, I will start with the first topic which is matter in our surrounding. Okay. Now, once I tell you matter in our surrounding, the question comes in your mind, what is surrounding and what is matter? There are only two keywords, surrounding and matter. Whatever is around us is our surrounding. If you are sitting on a chair and reading book, then that book, that chair, that table, this is all your surrounding. So, whatever you think of around you is your surrounding. It is very easy to understand this concept. Okay. If you are sitting at the back bank of the river, then river, plants, rocks, that is your surrounding. Okay. So, this is very easy. Now, we will go for matter. What is matter? Matter are things. What I mean by things? Things include everything which has mass as well as volume. So, the things which have mass and which have volume, they come under matter. So, if you see all the things around you, they are all matter. So, for example, if you see food around you, that is matter. If you see vessels around you, that is matter. If you see water around you, that is matter. If you see gases, that is air around you, that is matter. LPG, cylinder is matter the LPG filled inside is also a matter. So, all the things, they are nothing but matter because you know all the things, they have mass, definite mass and they have volume. Okay. So, I think you have understood the concept of matter as well as surrounding. Okay. Now, we have to study this matter in our surrounding. So, first thing we want, what we want to do is we will classify the matter. Okay, we have to whenever we want to study anything, normally we classify that thing. Okay, so here we have to classify the matter. Not we, our ancient Rushimunis also classified the matter. Okay, how they classified? They classified matter into five tatvas. Okay, in Sanskrit they are called Prithvi, Aap. Tej, Vayu and Akash. Okay. Once again I will repeat. They classified matter into five tatvas. First is Prithvi, second Aap, third Tej, fourth Vayu and fifth Akash. In English we call Prithvi as earth, Aap as water, fire, Tej is fire, then Vayu is air and Akash is sky. Okay. So, the matter 
they, they felt that all the matter, living, non-living matter, they are made of these five tattvas. Even Greek people, they followed this concept of matter. They also th thought that these pancha tattvas are there in matter, all the matter is made of pancha tattvas. Further, as days passed, people tried to classify matter depending on or based on their physical and chemical properties. So when we are considering physical and chemical properties, it's a vast subject. So we will deal with physical properties in this topic. Okay? We will not deal with chemical properties, we will deal them in the next topic. Is it clear? Now, when you consider physical properties, first thing, first thing what they what the people in ancient uh, days they thought. How is matter, whether it is continuous or whether it is made of particles, that is called particulate. Okay? So, matter, whether it is continuous or whether it is particulate. Some people said it is continuous, some people said it is non-continuous, that it is particulate. Again, we have to think on this and we will prove, we will see by experiment how it is whether it is particulate or whether it is continuous. So, let us do one experiment. What I will do is, I will take a beaker. See, this vessel made of glass which has a beak. You see, can you see the beak? This beak, this is known as beaker. It has markings of ml on it. If you take water up to this level, it is 50 ml. If you take water up to this ml, it is 100 ml. If you take water at this level, it is 150 ml and if you take water at this level, it is 200 ml. Okay? So, the capacity of this beaker is around 200 ml. I am taking this beaker and I will take some water in it. Okay? Let me take water in beaker. I will take around 100 ml of water. Can you see this? Whenever you are feeling any liquid and measuring it, you have to see the lower level of the liquid. So, now you can, you can see it is 100 ml of water taken in a beaker. Now, I will put some sugar in it. Okay? And I will stir it. Now see, I put sugar in water and I stir it properly. So that all the sugar is dissolved in water. Now again, we will see the level of water. Can you see the level of water? This is the level of water that is 100 ml. That means there is no rise in level of water. All the sugar molecules, they are inside the water, but water level has not rise. What it means? What do you think about it? Where are the molecules of sugar? Where are the particles of sugar? Where they have gone? Okay? So, there are two things which we have to observe over here. First thing is, Matter is not continuous, it is consists of particles. We call it as matter is particulate. Okay? These particles, they may be small or they may be big. For that, we will do one more experiment. I okay? will take another beaker and I will put some water in it. It is not necessary to measure the water. Okay? I have taken some water in it and I will put some colored crystals in this. Okay? And I will try to dissolve. See students, water is getting colored. It is having 
रेड कलर नाउ सी पार्टिकल साइज मे बी डिफरंट देर मे बी स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स देर मे बी बिग पार्टिकल्स बट मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द टाइम्स पार्टिकल साइज इज स्मॉल हाउ स्मॉल इज दिस फॉर दैट वी विल डू वन एक्टिविटी आई हैव टेकन कलर्ड वॉटर ओके इट हैज रेड कलर दिस रेड कलर इज इंटेंस इट इज डार्क नो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल टेक अनादर बीकर and then i'll take water in it small amount of water i have not measured it i've just taken small amount of water and then i will put some red sol solution of what made in water in this beaker now see the color of this solution which is there in my right hand is not that that dark as the color of the solution in my left hand beaker all right so the particle size is small but it is uniformly the particles of color they are uniformly distributed now i will take thamba and here now again i will take water in beaker and i'll pour this solution which is having slightly faint color than previous in this beaker and still you see water gets color in this beaker right that means the particle size is very very small okay and it is distributed all over the water so once you transfer this solution in another beaker which contains plain water that water also gets color okay so from this we understand the particles of matter they are small okay you can when you will study atoms and molecules that time this will be more clear to you so isoprac particles will be more clear to you now we will go for next part that is next physical property next physical property says that the thamba dole its particles of matter have space in between for this also i will draw two figures and you will understand from these figures suppose this is a vessel and you put pebbles in this vessel okay you can see space between two pebbles similarly there is space in between par two particles of matter and this space can be occupied by particles of another matter like sugar or any other thing which mixes with this or which may not mix with this okay so you can understand there is space between the two particles of matter so up till now we have studied three physical properties first physical property matter is particulate second one these particles are small we cannot see those particles actually you cannot take out one particle that much they are small and third one is they have space there is space between two particles of matter okay so now we will go for fourth one the fourth property is the particles of matter are in motion they are moving continuously they are not steady how can you understand this suppose if you have is a stick if you light it you get smell all over in your house the better example i'll give you you want to use perfume while going out going to school and your mom doesn't want to use use perfume doesn't want to use perfume now what she will say you don't use perfume but you want to use it but if you use it without knowing her it is not possible the smell will go to the smell will reach to her and she will understand that you have used perfume how it is possible because the molecules 
or the particles of the perfume they get mixed with particles of air and air is moving so those particles they reach to your mom's nose and she understands the smell of perfume so this is how particles of matter they are in motion what do you call this we call this as kinetic energy of particles students you know there are two types of energies one is potential energy and other is kinetic energy potential energy is the energy which is in the matter it is not used this that is known as potential energy and the kinetic energy is the energy used by the particles it is in the in the particles and it is used for motion they move with this kinetic energy now when two types of particles or particles of two different matter they intermix with each other then it is called diffusion just now you saw i put some color in water the color particles and water particles they mixed with each other and now it is not possible to separate those two particles those two types of particles right you cannot separate color from water now same thing happens if you just take example of tea coffee in tea or coffee you have concentrate of tea you have sugar particles you have milk particles but you cannot separate once the tea is made so this kind of mixing is known as intermixing of particles of different matter is known as diffusion okay so then next concept which we have studied is diffusion so here we understood two more concepts one is particles of matter they are in motion they move that is known as kinetic energy of that part those particles and they intermix particles of different matter intermix with each other that is known as diffusion so up till now we have studied this four physical properties and now we will go further for fifth property that fifth property is suppose you are holding hands you and your friend you are taking your picture photo that time you are holding one another at your waist if suppose anybody wants to separate it or the force required to separate you it will be more but if you are holding your hands if you compare the force required for this it will be smaller than whatever is required for the first uh, situation if you are just touching your fingers like this how much force is required it will be still smaller and if you are just standing Uh, uh just near to each other what is the force required it will be very 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 small okay so i have given you four situations okay you and your friend you are you are taking picture and you are holding your hands at your waist very tightly now second situation you are holding your hands like this third situation you are just touching your fingers and fourth situation you are just standing near near one another so where is the force where is the maximum force required maximum force will be required in first case where the students where when two friends they are holding each other with at, at their waist right so this tells you that particles also stay together because of force of attraction between them right so in matter you see particles they stay together they don't move very far because they have force of attraction between them 
though they have kinetic energy they move around still they don't move so much apart because they have force of attraction between them so that is the last property physical property of particle we have studied once again we will repeat all five properties in this lecture first which have which you have studied in this lecture first matter is made of particles second particles are having space in between there is space in between two particles size of particles is very small particles they are in motion they can intermix so that is diffusion and they stay together because of force of attraction one more thing which i want to add is kinetic energy always increases with rise in temperature if you just heat the thing then kinetic energy of that particle increases so if you heat water it goes in another state that is steam so kinetic energy of water molecules increase and they go away from each other so much away that they go in the gaseous state okay so next time in the next video we will see the further part